And so it's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, today's video. This one right here. I'm, I'm gonna be comparing the option of P64 versus we have we have Troin uh, Troin uh, Troin DF83. Okay, so we got the 64 millimeter versus the DF83. I mean, as you guys know, I mean, oh goodness, I mean, this is pretty fantastic coffee grinder, okay? So this is optional, well built, and obviously this is like a DF83, that's somewhat new from a terrain, terrain. I'm gonna big shout out to Joe from Express Valley to hook me up with this grinder. Uh, optional, um, that one I have to pay for it, okay? So that one I have to pay for that as well, but I mean, you know what, where, you know, this, I love, I love using uh, P64, love using it. I feel like it's worth every penny, okay? If you have an opportunity to get one, get the P64. I mean, this is just, it's such a trick to use it. The other hand, the F83, I mean, it's not that bad either, okay? So they are both wonderful, wonderful grinder there. So it comes to specs wise, you know what guys, just look it up, okay? Look it on the YouTube or internet. I'm not gonna talk about specs because you guys already know, some of you already know, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. But only thing I'm care about is the, how's the coffee taste like from this two grinder. Uh, for comparison purpose, P64 has a 64 millimeter SSP, high uniformity burrs in it, all right? DF83, we just installed the 84 millimeter SSP HU last week. So we are comparing two SSPs, 64 versus 84, okay? 20 millimeter difference and same time, but again, P64 is extremely well built, all right? Is a build quality going to overcome the birth size difference. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna find out. Okay, we're gonna find out soon enough. And I'm gonna be using the day 20. Day 20 of an Onyx advent calendar here. So today's coffee is from, hold on. Guatemala, so uh, Socorro, Marquelit, Mar uh, man, I can't even pronounce the last one. Okay, all right. And then, uh, let's see, this is a wash process. Uh, comes to tasting notes, I have no idea. All right, I have no idea about tasting notes, but we are going to taste this. Uh, comes to brewer, I'm trying to be consistent as possible. So I'm gonna be using the April drip, okay, April dripper. I'm using 13 gram, and I'm gonna introduce 200 grams of water. It's gonna be two parts, two, uh, two stage. Uh, 30 gram circular pour, 70 gram center pour. Okay, we're gonna do that twice. So in this one, only thing difference is the grinder. That's it, okay? The grinder comes to grind size. I'm trying to close as possible, okay? If it's way off, I'm gonna redo it. Uh, this one comes with a 55 gram, so since we are doing the 13 gram shot there, you know what? We're sick. So let's open the coffee bags. By the way, how many of you uh, doing the advent calendar this year? Yeah, let me know in the comment section. Okay, smells, okay, smells pretty good. I'm gonna shout out to friends at live chat. We have a, we have a craziness gaming is on live chat. And also we have someone else. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is, but yeah. We have another person. Make sure to join the live chat. We've got five people watching right now. Yeah, just hang out with us. Third, man, these beans are huge. The size of these beans, guys. That thing is like, no joke. Goodness. They're huge. Compared to other coffee beans, yeah, this thing is like the monster. All right, so we're gonna go 13 gram, okay. You know, let's flip the camera. All 
All right, here we go. Got 13 gram here. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know what? Uh, let's do a little bit of RDT, okay? Let's do a little bit of RDT here. Just gonna, a little bit of water. RDT means Ross droplet, uh, Ross droplet technique. Introduce a little bit of moisture, get rid of the static. Okay, so that is that. Let's move on to, we're gonna do another. So let's do grind from DF83. Okay, here we go. Again, the size of beans are pretty impressive. They're pretty large. Okay, I'm going to just do a little bit of RDT, not much, just a little bit. All right, here we go. Okay, so this is uh, 83 millimeter. That seems like grind size is a little bit more coarser. So we'll see. So it comes to technique wise again, <clears throat> we are using April dripper from Patrick. <clears throat> uh, first, we're gonna wash the paper here. Yeah, let's wash some paper comes to water temp, I'm using the boiling temperature. All right. So this is from P64. I got 13 point, 13 point three. I got some coffee from maybe earlier. All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna do 30 gram circle, 70 gram center. Go up to 100. I'm going to wait about 35 seconds. We are going to repeat the process. <clears throat> Again, 35. We're going to do center for 30 gram. Uh, no, a circle and 70 gram center. There we go. I mean, with that technique, uh, you don't have to, you know, I mean, this, the agitation is pretty good for the second. The center pull was give you that very nice ag uh, ag agitation there. Comes the brew time should be around, around two minutes and 30 seconds. That's what you're shooting for. We'll see. Okay. I feel like he's getting, we are watching paint dry, by the way. If you are just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Let's see here, we got some, we have a, uh, Jane is also joining us too, we got Leopold. Uh, DF60, you know, DF83 is a lot less, I mean, because the, the size of the bird size, they're extremely fast. So yeah, so you're gonna see definitely less, <clears throat> last uh, dust or shaft. 
We are passing about two minute mark. Let's see here. So right now we are at two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. I mean, uh, look like very evenly distributed though water-wise. Okay, we are just passing three minutes. All right. You know, I think I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it at three minutes and uh, 310, let's call it at 310, okay. Let's call it at 310. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Okay. So we got 310 for the P64. So it's about 0.8 gram per second there, comes to flow rate wise. Okay, we're gonna wet the paper. So now we're gonna do DF83. All right. So you, you so you go, we put 13 gram in, 13.1. Yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, RDT does work. Not a whole lot of dust there either, or a lot of you know static either. Uh, both of them. Yeah, both looks pretty good. Okay, this is the brew number two. Thirty gram circle. 70 gram center. So. Okay, we're gonna wait about about 35 seconds to all the blooming process. And then we're gonna repeat the process. That's it. We just wait. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in the time though. So we're at P64 with that grind size, three minutes and 10 seconds. So, I mean, very interesting to see if you got a similar time, which means it's pretty fair comparison there. So we are at minute and 30 seconds. Man, I feel like, again, we are, feel like watching paint dry, but It is interesting. I'm gonna get my cup ready. You got just past two minutes right now.
I wonder if it should be similar time. My guessing is around similar time there. We are at 2.30. Yeah. I'm going to shout out to Kevin. <clears throat> uh, my friends from Germany there. We got 2.44, okay. So this one, uh, P64 is a 310. This one has a three, yeah, it's, it's about the same time, folks. Okay, it's about the same time. Almost, you're get, getting very close, if you're looking at the bottom there. I'm gonna call it at 310, uh, three, yeah. Let's call it at three, 315, okay. Very close. So this is good. Again, we are using the April Dripper. P64. DF83. All right, folks. Okay. So let's try this. Okay. By the way, I mean, I do love comparison. Okay. Because I know people are asking who and which one is better. All right. The fact is, it comes to taste is all subjective. Okay. It's all subjective. But as long as we are, you are the one comparing it, you know which one is better for your taste. Okay. So I mean, at least give you some idea. Uh, we are talking about 64 millimeter HU versus the 80, oh, I'm sorry, 83 millimeter HU. Okay, they're both SSP. I'm gonna start with the P64. It's been sitting out for a few minutes, about what, three minutes or so? Cheers, guys. <clears throat> okay, sweet. A uh, little bright. Okay, bright, sweet. Ooh, floor. Hold on. Floor as well. I, I definitely taste floor and sweet. I taste like sweet, like uh, kind of like sugar. Okay, kind of like, like a little bit of burnt sugar, burnt sugar. And then I, I taste. Some kind of fruit, okay. I cannot pinpoint it right now, but but once. So let's try this one. So this one is. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, Mike. Uh, we are doing the uh, Onyx for today, okay. The day twenty. So this is a DF eighty three. Here we go. Cheers. Ooh. Hold on. I got the same tasting notes. Okay. It's more smooth, more sweeter. So, okay, Mike say uh, orange blossom floor. Yep, I got the floor. Burning less smooth. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. Man. So this one, so this is a DF uh, P64. Little sharper, all right, little sharper. It's great. Definitely floor. Okay. Uh, let's go back to DF83. Man. I like the 83 better because it's more smooth. Uh, I can definitely taste them more. Okay, more the tasting note there, more even, more balanced. Okay, balanced. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, more balanced coffee. Uh, comes to, as you saw, the comes to brew time is about the same, around 30 minutes and 10 seconds or so, plus minus five. And uh, yeah, I mean, for, again, I mean, for the, for, for the DF, 
<coughs> the SSP is known for espresso, <coughs> as you guys know. The uh, HU, high uniformity birds. But HU give you a lot of fines too. I mean, that's why people love the Caspers lately, the, all the Caspers. So give you that, you know, dynamic, the tasting notes. Let's put it that way. So this coffee is cooled down. Okay, so I mean, obviously P64 is cooled down already. Yeah, I, I, a little sharper. That doesn't mean it's bad. So this is 83. Yeah, much sweeter. Much sweeter. Goodness. I like it. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but let's see who's getting 83. Let's hold on. <clears throat> let's see here. Someone's getting a 83 soon. Yeah, Mike is getting 83 soon. Uh, yeah, this is gr great. Okay. Let's talk price. DF83 is about six, uh, 700 bucks right now. Okay. Uh, $700 from uh, Joe's website, the Espresso Outlet. And the uh, P64 is about $1,700 from Prima, uh, Prima Coffee. And I believe they usually, <clears throat> usually comes with, I think you might have some options. I don't know what options you're going, you're, you are going to have, usually HU birds which means you have to get uh, pay premium for that as well. So you're looking at, you know, set you back around 2000, all right? But <clears throat> with the Joe's, uh, Joe's DF83, you're looking at what, seven, uh, you know, let's say 700 bucks. And then if you want to upgrade your birds, the set you back another like 200 bucks. Is a two? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, hold on, let me check his website. Okay, let's, let's go to Espresso Outlet. That's how much Joe is selling for his birds. <clears throat> DF83. Grinders. Here we go. DF64. Okay, by the way, Joe is selling open box for 375 for DF64. Yeah, that's cheap. Yeah, $700 for the DF83. And then the bird options. Okay, 325 for SSP. Okay. So 375 for this. Uh, you're gonna add 375. So you're looking at 1075 bucks. If you want to add SSP, but if I were you, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wait a while for SSP because uh, uh, Joe say, hey, Joe, uh, when you're getting your cast, uh, uh, Joe is on right now, so I think the SSP is going to come up with the Caspers. Casper is really good, you know. I mean, if you like, if you're into filter coffee, Caspers are fantastic, definitely. Yeah, they're great. And, but I mean, if you are, again, uh, I mean, uh, they, they go, the Caspers is also really good for the espresso as well. So I know a lot of people, it's kind of like funny, a couple of years ago, everybody raved about high uniformity HU birds. And then now, last year or so, people started moving into like MP birds. So you figure high uniformity is more uniform grind than multi-purpose MP. That's not true. The MP birds are more uniform than HU birds. The naming convention is really confusing. <clears throat> but now everybody kind of like moving into like cast birds now, cast or kind of like low un uniformity. So, but you know what? You know, eventually, you know, come around, okay? Who knows by next year, everybody wants HU, so. Let's see here. Uh, MS say who needs zero with a conical or flat, which, which is the best? The flat, <clears throat> I don't know, you, uh, you saw the Prometheus did a review on it. Just stick with conical, okay? Because it's going to be set back, what, three or four hundred bucks for the 
the bird upgrades, you know, the modification there, just wait. All right, I mean, conical is just fine. I mean, if you're on a flat bird, just get yourself actual flat bird. All right. Yeah, just make sure get the uh, get the sample, uh, not the sample, uh, get the flat bird. I mean, you're looking at 400 bucks. You can go to Joe's website. You can you can pick out the uh, DF64 for like open box for 375. So, and also let's not forget, uh, Mike is right. Uh, da Rock mentioned uh, you are going to avoid. Okay, avoid the warranty as well. So, yeah, you don't want that. All right. And then, well, let's see here. Over 30 minutes to grind espresso. Yeah, it's not, it's not designed for it. Okay, I know a lot of people like to modify things, but it's not designed. Hold on. So this, uh, this is DF83. It's been sitting for a few minutes. Cool down. Man. That, I can taste more with 83 than 64, okay? For same birds, SSP, HU. All right, let's see here uh, what Kevin has to say. I might go for the 83 when it's available in Germany. Okay. Got the 64 with the MP. Oh. Since you got the MP, uh, Kevin, maybe uh, wait a while and they get the maybe cast. Okay, get the cast birds. Yeah, I mean, even standard is not that bad either. All right, yeah. And the Joe say uh, he can ship to Germany. But that's a lot. Uh, Joe, what's the shipping cost on that, Joe? Shipping cost to Germany. I mean, it's going to be pretty penny, so. If the price is right, yeah, that's not a bad deal, Kevin. Okay, craziness gaming. Are you, where are you located? I'm in Tucson, Arizona. This is not a coffee shop, folks. Okay, you think I have a coffee shop? No, this is not a coffee shop. I own a computer shop. Okay, I turn uh, one one of my room into coffee desk. It's not a coffee studio. Coffee desk. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, guys, make sure press a uh, like. Get the thumbs up right now. Okay, it's only six people a thumbs up. Obviously, you are watching me, which means you like enough to. Watch this video, so make sure thumbs up. You got 25 of you watching. Do it now. Okay. Uh, cyber coffee. Yeah, cyber cafe. <clears throat> I mean, when I was in Korea, yeah, there is a cyber cafe. Actually, there's no cyber cafe when I was growing up in Korea, though. <clears throat> yeah, he's in the 80s, guys. When I was in high school. 80s. Man, that's a long time ago. Okay, you got a couple of people thumbs up there. Keep going. All right, I think I think we are pretty good so far. Yeah, I mean again, uh, comes to coffee, eighty four versus uh, eighty four, HU versus sixty four or uh, sixty three. Obviously, six uh, eighty three is better. Okay. And uh, Joe say about hundred bucks for the shipping cost from Germany there. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not that bad, okay? 100 bucks for shipping to Germany is not bad. Because I just got some stuff from uh, Denmark uh, a, couple of the, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Shipping cost alone was 50 bucks for the shipping for small package, okay? Yeah, so 100 bucks, jo uh, yep, Joe said 100 bucks for shipping. That's pretty good, All right? That's pretty good. And you can always get the, uh, the SSP later. Yeah. Man, hold on. You know what? Since I'm, I'm very curious. So 83 is good. We have 98. Okay, folks. We have 98. I'm thinking, you know what? Let's brew with a 98. Uh, we still have some coffee left here. I'm very curious. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm gonna brew some, uh, let's brew with some 98. Let's find out. So, I have a EK43. There's an SSP uh, that comes with a 2015. Okay, 2015, the pre-2015, the design. Uh, they're uh, pre-sought after. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna do 
Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Okay, why not, guys? Uh, we got some time here. Since I'm pretty slow at the shop this morning. <clears throat> I'm very curious. Okay, if you are just joining us, uh, welcome to live streaming. Okay. Yeah, let's go here. Okay, we're going to do exactly 13 gram as well. This bird size are, I mean, these beans are big, by the way. The water is ready already. So before I'm going to grind some coffee, I'm going to go through a little bit. I'm going to flush out some coffee before. I'm just going to get a handful of coffee beans. I'm just going to flush it. Okay, now, 13 gram going in. <clears throat> and we are talking about matter of seconds, folks. Okay, we are talking about matter of seconds. The extremely fast grinder. Man, that, hold on. I think the water. I'm going to add some more water here. Okay, if you're just joining us right now, welcome to live streaming. Uh, let's see here. We have uh, Leanne is also joining us. And also we have Chris, just join the chat as well. So we are doing, now we are doing the 98 millimeter. I'm just gonna wash some paper. Uh, we are using the April April Dripper. Okay. I got 13 gram in and 12 point. So it uh, comes to retention wise, EK 42 is not that bad. Okay, pretty good. <coughs> okay, water is ready. Uh, we're going to do 30 gram circle, 70 gram center, go hard. And then we're going to wait about 35 seconds. We're going to repeat the process. Again, a 30. Again, you're gonna circle. And center. Go up to 200. Uh, comes to brew time, I mean, so this one was DF83. Three minutes and 15 seconds there. Let's find out how long it's going to take, okay? I'm hoping about the same time, but we'll see.
We are at minute and 30 right now. I wonder it might be two. Yeah, it might be two coarser. So we are looking about two minutes. About two minutes and 30 seconds brew time, perhaps. Let's give you guys a close up there. We are at two minutes. So, I mean, EK43, the 98, uh, is known for that, uh, bring out the sweetness and also the separation of the tasting notes. Uh, comes to time wise, we are looking at two minutes and around 30 seconds. Okay, two minutes. I'm going to call it at 2.30. Two thirty, uh, two thirty-five. Let's call it at two thirty-five. I mean, it comes to brew time, and that's pretty good brew time as well. I take it. Okay. So that is EK forty-three. So that is the EK43. Cheers. Uh, comes to tasting notes, I taste uh, earlier, uh, kind of like sugar, floor, uh, and then also some kind of fruit, okay? If everything goes right, this one is gonna be <clears throat> enhanced. Let's put it that way, because so we get the 64, 83 was better. Okay, for my taste. So now we are doing, so this is made for brews, the filter coffee, period. Okay, they are known for that. So this is the HU, uh, SSP HU, the 83. The HU is known for like espresso. Having said that, cheers. Okay, here we go. Man, that clean, extremely clean. Oh goodness, you know what? I have to say, for this one, I get more out of 83, but this one was about two minutes and what, 30 second shot, 315, so which means uh, you got more extraction than two, 230. Hold on. I mean, this is really good, man, but, but the fact is I, I like more fines on my coffee. I mean, if you want the cleanest cup, I mean, this is the cleanest cup. I have to say, I think it uh, comes to this coffee here with the Onyx for today's coffee from Guatemala. I prefer the 83 right now, okay? I prefer the DF83. Goodness, yeah. Uh, I prefer the DF83. DF you know, I wish you guys are here. Some of you are here so you can actually taste what I'm tasting because, you know, I mean, you, you, know, you have to take my word for it, but man, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it'd be, it'd be a lot easier, you know. Uh, comes to EK43, it's not a cheap grinder. All right, it's not a cheap... Hey, Craziness, are you in Tucson? We got Craziness Gaming. I wonder, uh, Craziness in Tucson. If you're in Tucson, you should stop by, okay? Hey, we are open Monday through Saturday. We are open Monday through Saturday. Ah, uh, Houston, Texas, man, that's far away. So this cup, so clean. Man, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but hold on. I'm very curious. I think we have some more here. So right now, my grind setting at number eight. 
If I'm gonna go down to number nine right now, if I go down to number eight, I can slow down the shot. Because I want, because I want to like, okay? I want to be, I want to like EK43. I have to say, because EK43 is one of my favorite grinder. But same time, I don't want you, you know, I don't want to give you guys a wrong impression either. <clears throat> because sometimes the bigger is not better, okay? Yeah. So let's try that one more time, folks. Okay. It's going to be getting a little long here. Uh, fact is, if you're watching after the fact, just skip that. Just skip the section. Okay. Yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna dial in properly. I got 13 gram. Thirteen. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna add some more water. So I'm changing my grind size to match the similar brew time with DF63. No, DF83. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do. If you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. We are doing a lot of comparison today. Okay. Hopefully this video, you know, give you guys a little, you know, give you some ideas uh, which grinder uh, you guys want to purchase next time. By the way, my office is getting hot, guys. Getting hot in here. All right. So I got 13 gram going in. Okay. Is an exact, pretty much identical brewing method. All three. So we got 64, we got 83, and this is 98. Here we go. All right. 30 gram circle. 70 gram center. Go hard. We're going to wait about 35 seconds there. We are going to repeat the process. Okay, again, circle. And center. 200. So this is technique from the Patrick from April. April Dripper. It's becoming one of my favorite uh, technique now. Because it's simple. And you can uh, repeat this process every single time.
So the last brew time was uh, 2 minutes and 15 seconds. I'm trying to get to about 3 minute mark there because the uh, DF83 was about 3 minutes. We are passing the 2 minute mark. Let's give you guys a close up there. So we changed to 9 on EK to number 8. Okay, so we went to the 9. We changed to number 8 for the grind size. You got Crazy Gaming. Yep, hit the like, everyone. Yes, you are correct. You got 33 people watching. Hold on a second. You got Rico has a EK. I go to the medium between six, okay, there we go, six, six point five to seven, okay. That's, yeah, I think I, I'm gonna try that next time. Okay, so right now I'm at three minute mark there. Pretty good, okay, very close. I'm gonna call it at 310. So this is a very close to uh, DF83. Is that about what minute? It's gonna be okay. The fact is there is a no shortcut for dialing in, folks. Okay. You just gotta, you gotta, you have to change your grind size to just get the cuff you want. So, here we go, cheers. So this is a 98 SSP uh, 2015, the, the SSP design. Okay, so much cleaner. I, uh, I taste pear. Man, you know what? I, I still like the. I still like the eighty three. For for this coffee, okay. For this coffee, I like the eighty three on coffee. Hold on, so Rico say with the higher temps, I noticed I lose the acidity, but usually gain on tons of sweetness. Yes, that's correct. I got the holder. I used a seven gram, okay, seven grams per second circular pull, and minute to bloom. Go to Brewers and Kono. Okay, Brewers are Kono and Orea. Okay, so I have the Orea, Rico. So yeah, you should join me next time, buddy. Join me on my uh, YouTube live session. You can actually join. Uh, you can. We can do the live session together. So why don't you use your EK? I'm gonna use my EK. And then we can uh, do the same thing. Uh, let's do the Oreo if you want. I don't know where you're from, but you know we can arrange some time. You can join us. Only thing you need is your just a phone. That's it. Okay, your smartphone. Uh, we can do the live streaming together. Okay, it'd be fun. Okay, it'd be fun. Because I don't know a lot of people owns EK43. So yeah, so yeah, just uh, message me. Okay, email me. Email is the best. You can get uh, you can get my email on my uh, YouTube channel there about the about section. Anyway, so this cup is a lot better than previous cup. Okay, clean, sweet, but I want something more. More, I guess I want something more dynamic. Uh, so eighty three was more interesting, I thought. Okay, the he, all the fines. From uh, high uniformity, yeah, I mean, I, I, like, I mean, again, that's personal. That doesn't mean you're gonna like it. So I bet you some people love 98, you know, millimeter, very clean, sweet cups, but it's all depends on coffee beans as well. So, so if you're just joining us, we just compare P64 from optional, DF83 
with the SS, they are both SSPs. And then we are going to finish with 98 millimeter, the SSP uh, 2015. Okay. And the winner for this round was the DF83 with the SSP HU. Uh, there was a lot of fun, okay? It was a lot of, man, we've been going at it for the last 50 minutes, folks. Last 50 minutes. By the way, uh, make sure press thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up on the like button there. We only have a 16 thumbs up, folks. We've got 37 people watching right now. All right, hold on a second. Uh, coffee cup, Cope. How about a, like, spike for the coffee? Yeah, spike for the coffee. I think, I think we are pretty good. Okay, four, three, two, I don't know what that is. Okay, one, spike for the coffee. Right, we don't want to do that here. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, it's a lot of fun, okay? I mean, I, I really enjoy comparing things. And hopefully you guys can, you know. But the fact is, I have a luxury to do it. I have a luxury to compare different grinders, different brewing method. And I mean, that's, it, it is a lot of fun. But thing is, most of you, you don't have that luxury. So, you know what? Just it, whatever grinder you have, whatever brewer you have, trying to perfect it. Okay, just trying to perfect it because, like for me, I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't like V60, okay, because, uh, not because I'm suck at it, okay, I'm bad at V60 because there's so many different techniques involved with the V60, yeah, but with like something simple, I like the flat bottom, fast brew, again, something easier. Okay, we look like Jesse just joining us. All right, we have Rain also joining us as well. And uh, but I think I'm gonna spend some more time coming here. We're gonna spend some more time on coffee roasting. Uh, Joe hooked me up with uh, the coffee roaster, so we're gonna do some coffee roasting coming up, uh, coming days and coming weeks. Uh, let's focus. You know what? We're gonna do a lot of fun stuff, folks. Okay, we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. I think I like to go even longer session since we are here right now. So, and we are going to do Dark Rock is correct, and that we are doing the coffee roaster challenge. Okay, if anybody has a roaster, all right. If anybody has a roaster, I'm gonna make announcement uh, maybe beginning of the year, all right, even sooner. So I'm gonna. So we are going to send you the beans. It's gonna be. My buddy from uh, Good Brothers Coffee, the brand's going to organize this. So we are going to do Roasters Cup, Coffee Roasters Cup Champion, Championship. Okay, it's for bragging rights. So I know Dark Rock is going to be enter the contest, and I'm going to be learn how to use the the M2 sniper. All right, I think my buddy has another grind uh, coffee roaster as well in Phoenix, and whoever wants to join us. Okay, uh, let us know. Okay, let me know. Okay, you can send me an email. Send me an email. Do not message me on Instagram. I never check it. Yeah, so you should be, yeah, you, yeah, you should be fun. And then, again, it's, it's for the bragging rights. So, who knows, maybe I can ask Joe to, you know, get some cool uh, winners, get some cool stuff. Who knows? All right. Let's see here. I'm training up for the roasting like Victor Diego Drago. Oh, there we go. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon, and I'm going to see you guys next time.